All right, let's do a little quick tutorial here. I'm going to make a little on off switch back here. All right, so what I like to do, I like to um, duplicate parts and steal from other parts to help me design quicker. So we're going to do select all those uh, faces there. We're going to do Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that period to focus so this way this is all we see except for the reference image there and let's go ahead and do alt on there we're going to patch that real quick okay now we got our basic shape i'm going to do a shift a gonna draw a line down dead center i'm going to knife cut it and all these things i've showed you before so it's nothing new so let's select each face. We're going to do R for rotate, V, change the pivot, and use your control to lock dimensions. So we'll do 15 degrees. It's probably a little excessive, but it works. So do it to the other one here. We're going to do rotate, V, control to hold it. Get our 15 degrees in there. Perfect. All right, now we can take our center one here, add a fillet to it. Remember, positive is always your uh, fillet, and negative is your chamfer. So we'll make a nice smooth transition there. Okay, perfect. So hold down Alt, and eh, it's not going to let us do it. So we'll select each face, Control 2 to select the perimeter. We'll add a little fillet to that. Not too much just enough there we go now let's get our icons on here so we need a basically a, a circle and a dash so let's go ahead and just do the dash real quick we just want to create a curve we don't want to slice into it now it's gonna be a little too wide for what we're looking for so let's scale it down I'm gonna change the pivot over here and then change it again to the middle here this way it's lined up to the normal and now I can scale it this way perfect let's take our circle command go to the center of the face should draw it perfectly in the center for us perfect all right now let's get the pipe command in here pipe P for pipe and change that sucker down at least for this particular model here we're going to do point zero 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 three okay perfect and same thing over here pipe command gets a little crazy it's trying to do a boolean cut in there so go ahead and do b for new body and change it down to same as the other one there we go back to that and we can cap these ends off a little better here i'm just going to do a fillet That'll work. Perfect. Now we select our main body and then select our two pipes here. Nope, nope. Get the pipe. There we go. And Q. Delete it. Awesome. Let's get rid of our curves. Let's go ahead and select that face, that face, control two. And let's get rid of, hold down control and get rid of these extra edges that we don't need gone all right now we got the edges we want add a little fillet to it or a chamfer whatever you want add one to there there we go now we got our on off switch bring everything back there's a little switch there. You can bring them out a little bit. There you go. A little on-off switch for our plastic plasticity 101 console.